a very good morning students here we are with the comprehension with the uh, of the poem the old brown horse by w f holmes so let us begin with question number 1 which says answer the following questions question number 1 a what do we learn from the horse's appearance and behavior the answer to it is from the horse's appearance and behavior we learn that the horse is weary old shaggy not very well cared for sad and the horse longs for respond to human touch question number 1 b when does the horse feel that life is not so bad the horse feels that life is not all that bad when a passer by speaks a kind word and strokes its mane and shaggy coat question number 1 c what does the poet ask the reader to do the poet asks the reader to stop for a word or two with a horse and show some affection towards the lonely animal now children when you are writing your answers do refer to the summary because it will help you to write the answers very clearly now these questions are more difficult question number d why is the horse no longer used for riding give at least two reasons question number 1 d the horse is no longer used for riding because it is old time has passed and it has brought new methods of transportation such as the motor car thus making the horse making the use of the horse less now question number 1 e who might have been responsible for neglecting the horse why was it neglected the horse's master seems responsible for neglecting the poor animal and forgetting him when he started using a motor car for transportation now question number 1 f what would you have done to make the horse's last years comfortable now children this is and a question which needs your own application so you have to write the answer of this question in your own words that how you could have made the life of the horse more happy and comfortable now let us proceed to the next thing mark these statements as true or false now question number 2 you are going to solve in the textbook itself the old brown horse was pleased with life it is false the old horse likes having visitors very true people who drive past are interested in the horse no not at all it is false the horse does not like being touched this is also false so question number 2 kindly question number 2 kindly do in the textbook itself question number 3 answer the following with reference to context oh thank you friend for the kindly thought for a horse who has had his day the underlined phrase means that he has become tired of his life has lived through another day has now grown old now the correct answer for this question is question number uh, sorry um option number c is the correct answer he has now grown old now let us proceed to question number 4 
Is there a rhyming scheme in the poem? What is it? I have already discussed with you the rhyming scheme and given you in the summary and it is A, B, C, B, D, E, F, E. Now, question number Next question is question number 5 which talks about which words and expressions tell us that the poet feels deeply about the horse. The title of the poem seems to have the hidden words the poor old brown horse. The horse has not really spoken to the poet but he is able to imagine all the horse's pains and feelings both of neglect by his master and joy at the kind words and a touch of a friendly passerby. The poet's appeal at the end of the poem to all passers-by act to stop and speak kind words to the horse shows his love for the old forgotten animal. Now let us proceed to question number. Uh, sorry, it is working with words. Let us see what the question says. Here are some words that may be used when speaking about the horses and riding. They are coat, riding, lame, trot, mane. Now the meaning of these words I have already explained you while teaching you the poem. Now here are some other words which words may be added to the list above. Circle them, look for their meanings in the dictionary. Now listen to me very carefully. The words have been already highlighted in yellow color. These words shows that they are related to the horse and the horse riding. Now what you are supposed to do is, you are supposed to find the meanings of these words from the dictionary and write it in your textbook. Now the words related to the horse and the horse riding is race, stirrup, fetlock, bit, saddle, rein, jump, gallop, canter, Shetland pony, shoe, hawk. Now this Shetland pony, S is in capital, this means it is a proper noun. It is a name of a particular kind of pony. I have given you a hint. Gallop word I have used while teaching the poem. And the other remaining words are very easy which you have to search from the dictionary and write it in your textbook on another piece of paper and paste it there. Now, the next question is learning about language, subject and predicate. You have to add suitable predicate to the following to make sentences. Now, V is the subject have been playing in the rain throughout the day will be the predicate. I have just cited one example. Remaining you have to write. That man who is the president, the subject is given, complete it with the predicate. An engine, subject is given, you have to write a proper predicate. The woman with the glasses, write the predicate. The dog without a tail, write the predicate. Now this question also you are going to do in the textbook. Question number two, underline only the main noun or nouns and the main verb in the following. Now you know very well what is a noun and what is a verb. The boy, the boy walked along briskly. Boy is the noun. Walked is the verb. His dog followed closely behind. 
dog is the noun followed is the verb the long electric train crashed into the back of a goods train train is the noun crashed is the verb santosh and anand are playing in the garden now santosh anand they are the proper nouns are playing is the verb do not forget are as the helping verb are playing we heard them crying now we here is the pronoun heard is the verb the elephant has large ears so elephant is the noun has is the verb pradeep and mala live in delhi so pradeep mala delhi are the nouns and live is the verb so children we have discussed the comprehension related to the old brown horse i have very well told you what you have to write in the textbook what you have to write in the notebook listen to the uh, video and audio again and again go through the summary go through the explanation it will be very easy for you to copy it in your notebook so thank you and have a good day